I need you to understand to hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to be doing more of these. Um, paying attention. You got to pay attention. That's going to be the first video on here. See, unlike other people, I'm going to do it randomly. I'm going to do it randomly. We're going to search through and see. I just typed in trucking into TikTok to know what they want to show us. What is being put out there about trucking and we're going to react to it. So let's let's just let's just start it right off. Not paying attention. He could be tired just coming from picking that load up. He don't even see it. Oh, oh, and, and he sees it. Look look at look at the he he already know what's up. Look at look at his face. He already know what's up. You got to pay attention at the pump, man. I know it seems like it's a place that, that uh, you know, nothing can go wrong, but everything can go wrong at the pump. It get even worse. I ain't going to lie. I'm one of them guys. I'll put it in there and I'll go use the, I'll go pee and come back. I've done that. It's a lot of money on the ground, but he's Decker. I don't think he's leased, but it's still a bad day. It's still a bad day. I'm going to show you the worst place you want to be right now. I'm going to explain why, though. Hold on. So, if you're looking into getting in the truck right now, probably right now ain't the best time for you because inflation is going up, meaning gas prices are going up. And a lot of people ain't paying what they would normally pay for these loads because everything price wise is going through the roof. So when y'all brag about owning your truck and the industry just shows you that truck don't mean nothing. You don't control nothing. I ain't say it. He said it. So if you're looking at getting a truck in right now, the best thing I suggest you do is try to stay within your region or wherever you go, if, whether you go up north, whether you go down south, whether you go west, or whether you go east, try to stay in that area until you're ready to come home. Completely, completely agree right now. I agree with that. I, I, there's, uh, listen, man, if they're going to mess with your money a little bit and trucking is what you do, at least be able to get home, man. You know, the point of us staying out back in the day because we were seeing some money. Now, it's up to you at the end of the day, but wouldn't it be nice just to get to come home, even if you could just weather the, you know, the fluctuation, but you can still see your kids more, get some cheeks more. I agree with that. When I got out of school, I had a job at UPS going up the rankings on that, and I had got an offer from the job that kind of put me on with the brokerage. It was either a six-figure job, or was it to take a leap and try to be something better than what everybody else thought I could be? I seen it as a uh, different transition, because I used to tell my homeboys at first, like, bro, I, I found something. The numbers that I used to kind of mention to them that I was seeing, they would just automatically think I was lying. Like, but what numbers are we talking about? When I was working for the company, the office itself was making $200,000 a week. Like, oh, a week? A week. 200k a week but then you got an office full of what 60 70 people only 15 or 20 of them people are really connected to the industry got contracts moving a lot of freight i completely agree with them i completely agree with them it ain't that many people like i said the office is making that much it ain't that many but i mean if you can get shaved three four off of that a week that ain't a bad deal you know what i mean that ain't a bad deal at all so you saying 20 people being able to make $200,000 a week. When I seen those numbers, you know, I automatically had the entrepreneur um, mindset to basically say like, yo, I got to figure out how to do this on my own. When I uh, what I'll caveat to that and say is like, man, if you, if you got the brains, do it. I'm just, I'm just not a hater, bro. If you got the brains and you got the connections, make it happen, man. If you can get that done and, and get in and wiggle in and get some of them connections, uh, something that does help a lot when you start to get on that level and them offices, I digress. Uh oh. Look at this car. Why the car ain't backing up, bro? Why the car not backing up? Why ain't you moving out the way, man? 
Look, he won't move. He will not move, bro. He could he could have slid over. He could have had his uh that's his left tire. He could have had this left tire talking about the semi truck all the way over this line, all the way over this line over here to the right, and probably could have could have ducked this a little bit. But this person he has the car in reverse. The car is in reverse. Back up, bro. Exactly. It's just, this is, this is just shows you. It's like, they're either just completely do not know, or they are just, no, I'm not going to back up. I shouldn't have to back up. They're just doing that. It's either that, either dumb or Karen. That's the only two things that could be. Long story short, I'm the one that's been shot. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you asked everybody else, how did they find here? Yeah. <laughs> And where did they start? So with me, it's a little different. I'm from St. Louis. I come from the trenches, the hood, the bottom. I ain't have nothing. I moved to Dallas, started following her on the internet, just like everybody else. Um, I didn't have a plan, so that was the thing. I left my, my company job. I was like, you know what, this ain't the way. People work 30 years to get that 401k. You can make 401k in right. 20 seconds in trucking. <sighs> um love the story i think it's dope you know but i mean i i you know it, i love the story i'll say that i love the story and I, that's dope that that, that that you know she's getting it done and move herself out of those situations but for this to be mega broadcasted it's just not everybody's capability and everybody doesn't you know Unless they're saying if you buy into whatever programs being sold, this can happen. I have no, I, you know, I, I, I don't know how I feel about buying into, into these classes. But if that is possible, it's dope. If that is possible, it's dope. Hold the phone. What, why did this thing stop? Something must be wrong with this video. Since you'll always ask, this is how I get in my truck. <laughs> You're asking, you know, y'all say, oh, no one looks up trucking stuff. This is what most people see about trucking. This is what, and I don't, it's not their fault. It's not this young lady's fault. This is what, this is what the algorithm wants from us. This is what they want, bro. This is what they want. <laughs> It's educational. She doing it right. <coughs> Three points of contact always. It's educational. She was completely right. There's some in the windows y'all can go in there, but hey man, big ups to her. I know hatred. Speak up. Right. Right, I get it. When you land that a whole bedroom in the truck. Yeah, this is. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm a semi truck guy. I, I, you know, honestly, you know, I'm a semi truck guy. I'm not about to do none of this. I'm sorry. And I know the margins is that people say the margins are better and all that. And I mean, I'm just no. Uh, and I'm too I'm too big of a person. I'm too big, bro. I'm too big to be laying up in a regular cab truck. Now nah, I'm 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 very I'm very spoiled by the condo. I'm used to having a living area. Like I'm just I'm not interested in doing this. No hate though. That I like about trucking. Number one, you are your own boss. Don't get me wrong, you do have to deal with dispatch and maybe your driving manager or something like that that's making sure you're getting the way you're getting on time. But ultimately, you the one that's gotta make those decisions. You the only one on that road and nobody's standing over your shoulder telling you what to do. Number two, traveling. I've only had my CDL for six months and I've been to 46 states, okay? The company I drive for drives for 40, 
48, 50, 48 states, not 50. <laughs> Hawaii, not that, not Hawaii and Alaska, obviously we don't drive to, but I've only had my CDL for six months and I've seen 46 states. So if you want to travel, I recommend trucking. Number three, that money, that guala. It is very easy truck driving to make over six figures. This is very doable and it's very positive. I don't feel like, um, Dope, because I understand a lot of people have seen this. I mean, this has 400,000 likes, which means it has probably a couple million views. And I, I think it's positive for the people thinking about getting into it or, 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 or it's being pushed to young males that are, are young people, because now everybody come in. It's being pushed to young people that that may not know which way they're going, so it helps them out and give them a thought to even get into something like that. But um, very easy to make over six fig make over six figures and stuff like that. That is that is a, that is loosely said a little bit. Well, you know what? Or when this was recorded, it probably was true, but now it is not that simple. And six figures don't mean shit now. So it's like, but other than that, I love everything about it. I love everything about it. It's positive. What the hell? What is that, mom? Ma, you see this? No. Holy shit! What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? What the hell? What is that, it. mom? I don't get it. What is he saying? Is that a person back there? Oh, I think what the hell is this? I don't know what that is. I'm just at a loss for that. Y'all comment at the bottom. Driving and I realized a 139 Ooh. bridge. This made me worried because I'm 138. It was not in my interest to be 138. Check because sometimes these bridges may lie. They may be. You know he's he's doing he's doing the right thing here. I can't hate on him. You know, I can't. He's doing the right thing here. And you're dealing with them, them uh, car haulers, them things. I mean, he's doing the right thing here. A little bit off. So I'm just going to double check. This is more prevalent when, when it snows, it snows and ice and snows for months and it compacts and packs and it lifts you up a couple inches. This is, this is really, really prevalent around that time. Grab our height stick and let's measure. The section that we need to drive under is 14 feet. Since you all complained that I didn't measure the curb height for some reason, I just measure the curb height to show you it's 13, eight and a half. So the measurements may be from the curb. That's good that he did that. That's good that he did that. You know, everybody's not going to do that though, but it's, it's good that he did it. That can't fix this shit. This is a 2,000, <laughs> Oh my. I don't know what's going on here, but man, they're getting it like that. That's dope. When you're or are the queen of the left lane but this time you are adr hazmat and you try to keep no comment yeah yeah agree what is going trucker doesn't set his brakes uh-oh Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't do that. That's what what can be said about that, bro. That's that's manipulating your phone, getting it out of the truck, being stressed out, not paying attention. It happens, man. It happens. I ain't gonna say I never done. I've done it before, Melton, and it just hit a curve. But uh, it's a scary situation. It happens though. It really does happen more than you think. Six hundred and five thousand pounds rolling down I seventy five East Ramp. That is a lot going on, and I know everybody's thinking, "Oh man, that's the best thing to be doing." It ain't that easy to get into that, bro. It's not.
Man, I'm sure they get. I'm sure they getting some money, man. They're getting some money. What is happening? Your wife knows you hate night driving, so she keeps you company up front. Why is this playing? Truck drivers. Masterpiece. That is so dope. That is so dope. You would have to have a truck that has that pull thing. Most of them do, but, you know, some of them don't. That's dope. Truck carrying a truck carrying a truck carrying a truck. <laughs> These guys, um, I really love to get into that, man. I, I, it seemed interesting. I've never met somebody that does that. I've never had no one talk about doing this. Never. So it's like, I, I don't really know much about it, but it must make money. These guys seem pretty happy when I see them. It looks like they get to drive their car home sometimes. So that's what you're into. Oh, that was hiding in there. Look at that. Oh my. Wow. If you run along eight and I-10 in Arizona, California, Texas area, also, lock your trailer. They will get in your trailer. This guy wow, man. You know, it, it, look. It, you know, uh, to me, this is a sensitive subject. This guy was hiding. This is a sensitive subject right here. Um, You know, just protect yourself out here. Watch yourself, and um, you know, I don't, I don't throw all the blame on them. You have to understand, um, you know, international politics and and what's going on all over the world before you set judgment to people like this. That's what I feel. Most of y'all have no idea what's going on in Nicaragua and Venezuela. You have no idea what's going on down there. For a person to risk their life to get somewhere. I'm saying like, you know, the world calamities can change. A meteor could hit and we could all be trying to do that to get into Canada. So, you know, be, be careful. Be careful how you judge people, man. You want to check in between your duels for rocks. What can happen is a rock can become lodged between your tires. And as you pick up speed going on the highway, that rock can come out of there like a projectile and it can cause serious injury or death. Anytime you leave the highway, you want to check in between your duels for rocks. I can't disagree. Listen, listen, y'all, 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 y'all are in this. You, we're in this business and everything is supposed to go well and everything's supposed to be well oiled, but it isn't, man. Anything can happen. Anything can happen that you can think of. I uh, believe it. If something can go wrong, it does. So, you know, you know, we look at these videos just to see exactly what they're pushing on to us in the industry. And there's, there's a lot of good content on TikTok. A lot of it's out of context, but a lot of it is very good content, especially if you experience, you kind of can put the put pieces together. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of good content on there. I still think you, should, you can probably get more more information if you watch longer form content. But, I mean, there's a... Uh, there's some useful stuff on here, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you sub. Thanks to all the people in uh, uh, Patreon who uh, uh, showed love and gave me the idea of doing more videos like this. Y'all would like to see what my um, take is on some of this content, and that's what I'm doing it for, man. Don't do drugs. Be happy.